strange-looking man sends a friend request and tragedy strikes. An ex-police officer uses Facebook on a daily basis. When she received a friend request from somebody that she didn't know, she denied it. After receiving it, she decided that she should create a Facebook post to warn her friend. This all occurred with a strange-looking man, added her on Facebook officers revealed to her a shocking discovery. She decided that she should warn people about the dangers of posting too much on social media. Today just about everybody uses social media in some way, shape, or form. Almost everybody above the age of 10 uses either Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat. Even the elderly are using social media to stay in contact with one another of all the social media sites available. Facebook is still the most popular. The officer wanted people to understand that they have no idea who is seeing the things that people post. She wants people to look into how private their account really is. She decided to create a Facebook post. Telling a story about what could happen by accepting one Facebook request from a person that you don't know shortly after she created the post, it went viral. A guy sends you a friend request. You don't know him and you have no mutual Facebook friends with this person. But you're curious. You read his profile. He seems interesting against your better judgment. You go ahead and accept his friend request the same day you accept the friend request from the handsome stranger, your little girl's going to her first day of school. She's all dressed up and she's wearing her new backpack. And she couldn't look more adorable. She looks so adorable that you want your friends and family on Facebook to see those pictures while you're dropping her off. You take some photos of her and you check in at her school. You want all your loved ones to experience that day with you. You even create a caption that reads first day of school time flies. I'm a proud mama. While you're posting pictures of your adorable little girl, the mystery man who sent you a friend request earlier, he is saving the photo that you posted of your daughter's first day of school. As you're walking home from your daughter's school, he's texting it to 60 men around the world. Like you, he added a caption to the photo. His caption read American female age 5 brown eyes, black hair $5,000. The man is clearly sick, but you gave him all the information he needed. He's a human trafficker and you gave him your daughter's name and her exact location when you accepted his friend request. By the time you get her to school at 3 p.m. to pick her up. She's already gone before you even left the school, your daughter was already sold to a 43-year-old pedophile. She's now on her way to South Africa with a bag over her head. She's terrified, confused, crying. This all happened because a man that she doesn't know took her and has no idea what will happen to her. People. Don't realize how many people in the world are out there to hurt a child. Each day, thousands of children are kidnapped all over the world and sold on the black market. They are also smuggled into other countries. The best way to protect your child is to keep things off of social media. It's a bad idea to post your every move on Facebook. Also, keep your children off of your profile picture entirely when you're with your children or if you're dropping them off. Don't check in on Facebook. And finally, most important, don't accept friend requests from people that you don't know the person in. The photo may look innocent and nice, however, there's a chance that the person behind that photo isn't even that person at all. It's up to you to keep your family and yourself safe when you're on social media. If you don't take the necessary precautions. The story I just told you could become your reality. Social media is a great way to connect with people, but you need to use it responsibly. Subscribe for more.